I used to always wonder how a man could just see their hair falling off and still keep doing the same styles over and over. Yeah, I was a little bit judgmental but that was until I became that woman. Life has been pretty chaotic these last few months and buns just happened to be the easiest style for me. Unfortunately, this resulted in my hair breaking off from the tension and from constantly pulling my hair in the same direction. I want to change that though. I do believe that I can have healthy long flowing hair once again and right now my hair is dry and tangled and I think that's that seems like a good place to start. On wash days, the first thing I like to do is to allow my hair to get completely drenched under the shower. Now this can sometimes take a few minutes but it's definitely worth it. I sometimes use this step to do some mild finger detangling and also to use the pads of my finger just to massage my scalp a little bit to loosen up any dirt and build up that might be there. Next it's time for shampoo. I'm cleansing my hair with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. It's basically a clarifying shampoo that is supposed to remove buildup while infusing my hair with nourishing moisture. I usually shampoo from roots to ends just to ensure that I'm getting all of my hair. I don't only shampoo roots alone. I know some people prefer that but to each his own. Now it's time to add the moisture back in. My friend Avi, who has amazing natural hair, gave me this deep conditioner from Mayel to try out. It's a rosemary mint strengthening hair mask and I used it just as I would any of my other deep conditioners. First, I start by applying it all over my hair from roots to ends before dividing my hair into sections. If I try separating my hair without detangling, this could lead to further damage and breakage because of how matted my hair is and tangled, as well as it can be a bit painful. So I try not to skip this step at all. I always apply my deep conditioner first. Another benefit of this method is that it cuts down on deep conditioning time since I'm using it as a detangler as well. I like to start detangling from the ends of my hair and work my way up to the roots. After my hair is thoroughly detangled, I twist the section up, then I wrap the twist into a bantu knot to keep it out of the way. I repeat this process on the remaining 5 sections, then I rinse. I always undo my bantu knots to ensure that I remove all of the deep conditioner from my hair. Next I'm adding a small amount of leave-in conditioner and that's it. I love a simple, quick and easy wash day. I'm staying far away from buns and any styles that could cause further damage to my hair. So for styling this week, I've decided to do some mini twists. Now let me tell you about mini twists. 
<laughs> this is a great protective style if it is you have a hectic lifestyle or you just want something that it's easy and low maintenance that you could just wake up and go then this is the perfect style for you I get the best results when I install my mini twists on dry stretched hair so that's the reason why I allowed my hair to air dry to this point for me it's easier to start by sectioning off my hair and adding a bit of water because this makes it easier to work with and it also helps with how my hair fall after it's finished you'll understand when you see the final results but sectioning always helps with that as well as the smaller the sections for me the fuller my hair looks For each of the section, I'll be using a small dime size amount of this Shea Souffle. This will help to smooth my hair as well as to lock in the moisture that I just added. To save time, I usually just part the first main section with the comb and then for the individual boxes i just use my fingers to separate that because honestly you can't tell the difference and because of how tiny this is it will take forever for me to part each individual box i'm following that up by braiding just about an inch from the root then i start twisting this will just ensure that my hair remains neater for a longer period and I'm taking the twist all the way down to the end and then from just about an inch from the end I'm not going to be twisting that because I prefer for my hair to be a little bit more on the curly side especially the ends so I'll be adding gel to that but I'll show you to a little bit later on in the video so I just repeat the same process throughout the rest of the section as you can see, my hair looks very flat as is. So I'm going to be adding each of the section into one large braid. This will help to give it a sort of a wavy type of curly effect. And then of course, once I add the gel to the ends, it will look amazing. So I'm braiding that all the way to the end. And then I'm going to continue the same process of braiding and twisting each of the sections. This is the following morning and I do believe that my hair set well overnight and I am undoing each of the braids. Now as you guys can see this is what I was referring to when I told you that the braids will give me the wavy effect. Honestly without these waves my hair will just look flat and dead and so I recommend any of you that you're doing mini twists to always consider that step. To the ends I'm adding a little bit of this suave gel. You can use any gel that you have on hand or mousse works fine as well this was just the one that i had and yeah i'm repeating that to each of the twists for some of them i needed to add a little bit of water because it was feeling a bit dry and i didn't want to just put the gel right on top of my hair so i added a little bit of water just to get some moisture in there and then i added gel and this is the final results i absolutely loved how my hair turned out i got so many compliments and i do believe that i'm becoming a mini twist girly <laughs> because it looks really great and i don't know it just looks cute and it's an easy style i mean you just get up and go right let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section down below and you can catch me in my next video on this healthy hair journey series bye guys